Morning YouTube. Of a Taurus High Point production coming at you. Today, more on black powder. And the dreaded chain fire. And people have been using lube and wads. And wads go between the powder and the shot. In black powder revolvers for years, decades, swearing up and down that it prevents chain fire. I'm going to show you exactly what prevents chain fire. It's no guesswork. It's not rocket science. And uh, it's, it's not what everybody claims. Sure, a little grease at the front end of the nipple or front end of the cylinder or a wad in between the powder and shot could possibly prevent chain fire. Possibly. What really prevents chain fire? 36 caliber round ball, 44 caliber cylinder, one more time, you missed it, 44 caliber, 36 caliber ball. What prevents chain fire? Again, 44 caliber. 451 round ball. Did you not catch that? You missed it. You fell asleep, you dozed off. Oh. That prevents chain fire. For the front of the cylinder, anyhow. Now, for years when I first started in black powder, I was told and convinced that that was the only way chain fire happens is through the front of the cylinder. I got the wads, I got the felt, I got the grease, and then when I go to clean this mess up, it's all like, ugh. You know what? Then I started experimentation. Because everybody started talking about paper cartridges. Well. I noticed that not everybody was lubing paper cartridges. They don't put wads in a paper cartridge because the lubrication in the wad would contaminate the powder as well as the paper. But you shove that down in there, you jam it down, and you don't use lube. Uh, paper some wine. Uh, 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 uh. Good luck with that. What it is, 
is somebody get tired of watching somebody cram wrong size balls or too small of balls into a cylinder because somebody else was screwing with them and told them that's what size they needed and when they would get to the range they would have that chain fire so instead of having them injure themselves or others lube wads became a necessity if we just quit screwing with each other and tell each other the truth straight out again you know what I wasn't going to put popper apart but I'll pop her apart and I'll show you again Reopening the bag. This is a 36 caliber cylinder. This is a 44 caliber cylinder. 36, 44. Here, let me get it really into bird's eye. So if you're out there shooting your revolver and you do this being a new guy and it drops all the way in there, something's wrong. It should actually, let me switch these two around, because that's my Navy cylinder now, 36 caliber look like that when you ram that home you should shave off a little ring of, a little ring of lead that seals the chamber and prevents bark from getting in wad doesn't grease doesn't proper bullet size does and whether you're using conicals sticking with the round ball Get the appropriate size for your revolver. Yeah, sure, I can cram a 451 and a 36 caliber. Don't know why I would. But I couldn't fit a tight enough seal with the 36 caliber into a 40 44 caliber. What prevents chain fire? Knowledge. And after, <coughs> I think it was like three years, four years, of everybody telling me chain fire only happens from the front, somehow we got it turned around where chain fire only happens from the rear of the gun. If you get a chain fire from the rear of your gun, I want to know what you're doing with a size 66 nipple for it to fit over both of those nipples, or size 66 cap for it to fit over both of those nipples. Where did you get something that big? Well, it can, spark can jump down, come up, jump down, come up. Really? Really? Go down. Swim around. Come up behind the other cat. Again, either the cap fell off that nipple. You're using a size 66 cap and covering both the nipples. Or 
if somebody's just been ingesting too much acid and said this stuff sounds real good, let's go with it. Because there's no way you're going to get a spark to jump down, turn around, come back up, jump up another paper cap, jump down the flash hole. It doesn't make sense. That's almost as bad as the flask grenade. Oh, there's no doubt that it happens. But there's a cause behind it. You get these reenactors out there shooting all day, having fun, firing blanks. And somebody decides not to swab the barrel every third or fourth shot. Every third or fourth cylinder, they don't swab the barrel or the cylinders. And they try to dump pure powder from a flask. It's possible. But you have to be negligent for that to happen. Just like chain fire. From either end. You have to be negligent. This has been a Taurus High Point production on simple chain fire. Whether you choose to or not, that's your responsibility. You choose, therefore you are responsible. Taurus High Point, signing off.